All right, I don't know who this is for or what it's about, but I was just called to actually come over here and do a read. So let's see what the viewer needs to know right now. Let's see what this card is. Love abounds in this situation, okay? Something about seeing through the lens of love, but also a heartfelt matter. You could be concerned about this situation because you have a big heart. Heart chakra opening. Okay, that one, and that one, and that one, and this one, and this one. <laughs> um, oh, there's green hearts all over this. And look, the throat chakra. So speaking f about matters from the heart, speaking with heartfelt intention. Change your focus. Okay, what is she looking at over here? I'm shining. I feel like this card is next. Teach. And trust, daydreams, and decisions. So I feel like, all right, vocaling with throat chakra here. Teaching about, well, let me, okay, clear, concise, accurate messages here. The need to focus, change your focus from whatever you're concerned about, okay? Trust the situation, trust that the situation is happening how it's supposed to why it's supposed to okay and it's like they're like here trust on your heart and what your heart is calling you to do this is some kind of healing as well see the situation with love see it in a positive aspect number five signifies change okay daydreams and decisions so this happens because you're being called and led to yeah just observe don't absorb observe don't absorb being called to uh, trust your decisions or instead of, oh, okay, instead of sitting around daydreaming about something all, all day now, it's like trusting yourself to make the decision when the time comes to take that action towards it. Um, we, we have to start taking that focused action and that, those steps towards it, okay? Coming together, some sort of family coming together after a long period of feeling alone or you could be feeling really alone in you could be around a lot of people at this time but you still feel really alone i feel you on that one viewer okay there's a sense to find balance and here's the number two something happening oh, shit. something happening putting forth ever okay rest and reconsider we'll get more on that here but we've got there's a need for a dedicated effort again with taking the action taking action to spread your wings and going towards whatever this bright new future is if we don't take the action towards it 313 on the timer as i look over then you know we have to well, it's like spirit wants you to meet them halfway like it's not going to happen just by sitting over here waiting for it to come to you. We have to get up. We have to move. We have to, you know, what, whatever it is that you're called to do that you don't really want to do. We, you got to do the damn thing. Well, okay, let's see here. It takes time. It takes skill. Something about money here too. But there's some sort of new beginning happening around a uh, potential people or situation that was really chaotic or conflicting for you as well. Okay, somebody could be wanting, okay, here are the steps. We've got five here again. We've got twos on the board. We got five, five, five. Okay, I bet you see that next. Nines as well. There's a completion here. And I feel like this rest and reconsider is in the past. Like, You've been observing, you've been resting, you've been learning something, okay? Something's been healing within you, whether it's a, a new perspective around something or how you cho cho were seeing a situation, whether that's within yourself or on love, money, career, you know, relationships, whatever. Ooh, the high priestess here. So you are very, very intuitive. You're very psychically connective it's like yeah you already know what you need to do and we've got this king of wands and that's coming out under change your focus so if you're too worried about what a potential masculine energy is doing in 
you know, with or without you, there's, they're like, hey, change your focus, okay? We need to focus on making that money. Like, there's an opportunity coming in. There's also an opportunity coming in from a, a masculine energy, a, uh, an offer of some sort or an offer of a material, material thing. Also, we've got this falling over daydreams and decisions. So again, here's this little, this, this path and we, we have to make that concerted effort to go down the path, right? We have to take the steps, baby steps. You're inclined to do so. I feel like this card wants to come out too. There's judgment here, okay? Spreading your wings after a judgment, but love abounds through this judgment, okay? You could have had a lot of judgment towards yourself. There could have been, um, they're showing me that five of wands or seven of wands again with the conflicting people and the energies around you. A lot of people judged you, you know, um, Crikey. You are stronger than you give yourself credit for. And I heard the word scared as I was saying that. So whatever you're scared of, there's no reason to be scared, okay? Because you also have your imp empress energy coming out here too. And she focuses on herself. And I feel like that's just clar clarifying or validating what I was saying. If you're putting too much time and worry and effort towards somebody who's not doing the same to you, do it to put it in for yourself something about relying on somebody else too yeah like too concerned with uh, also taking a new approach i just heard the need to take a new approach so maybe there's a need to take a new approach to this masculine energy Ooh, all these cards are falling shine with page of pentacles here and this is i'm feeling like your inner youthful spirit like something's been healing or mending okay and that inner youthful spirit is trying to lead you to a new beginning and this is very spiritually led with also the de dedicated effort here de -de 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 -de. <laughs> cleanse our throat chakra please and thank you oh look yeah, it's an emotional situation, but, and that's going to take dedicated effort. Also offering somebody a cup of love. Um, I see these two hands and they're coming together, right? So it's like coming from the masculine and the feminine, whether you're in a relationship or not. And this could be, you know, um, your masculine and feminine energy within you because we all have it. Okay, our masculine side is the part that gives us confidence and we take action towards something. Our feminine side is the parts that are loving and nurturing, creative, intuitive, you know, psychic, whatever. So there's a sense of balancing out and maybe your masculine energy is becoming activated. What spread your wings? What spread your wings, spirit? Oh, look at that. The queen of swords, not taking no. Look, like she takes a sword and she's already cut those cords from all those previous negative people in her life and now she's looking forward to her future just like with her hand open and now these hands are open she's like come at me bro and look look at the light shining down here and the crown here so you know um you know you know something okay and with the four of swords and yeah again with the rest and reconsidering or having a hard time on figuring out what to do or making a decision, something's gonna become really, really clear for you. And I feel like this is just validation what spirit I felt here was this is in the past. Like the time of rest is over. It's time, you know, and see the baby here, like there's a resurrection of something here. Okay, and also teaching the little one something maybe, trusting yourself, okay. Trusting, you might be led to certain articles or stuff. What's on the bottom? Yeah. Walking away from that which no longer serves us. Something coming into balance. You see how the cup is, it's pouring one give and take, give and take, even distribution, okay? There's a new passionate experience coming in. And also, we have the twin flame card. Something that was hidden before. This could be in dream time as well around a previous love situation. There's other meanings though um, of the lovers. I wanna see what else it can mean real quick. Cause I feel like this isn't pertaining to, 
a love situation like that's not what we need to focus on right here viewer okay um, it's more on focusing on you and your future and how you can improve something focusing on your destiny or to focusing on taking the steps focusing on gaining clarity in a situation The lovers represents relationships and choices. Its appearance in a spread indicates some decision about an existing relationship, a temptation of the heart, or a choice of potential partners. Often an aspect of the querent's life will have to be sacrificed. A bachelor or bachelorette's lifestyle may be sacrificed and a relationship gained. But also right now I'm feeling like there could be a relationship that needs to be sacrificed and then more of the bachelorette lifestyle needs to be embraced. Whatever the choice, it should not be made lightly as the ramifications will be lasting. And I feel like that's where this love abounds with the eye and the heart and the, and the light coming down here. It's like maybe you're afraid to let go of this person or situation. The lover's card is also about love and being in sync with someone. It's like when you and your partner really understand each other and everything just feels right. Attraction, love, beauty, trials to overcome. So let's get a clarity for... Yeah, this situation is just keeping you or you feel like it's keeping you trapped. And there's like this need to... What's the advice here? What's the advice here, spirit? Why or what are you afraid? Yeah, it's something you're afraid of. And maybe it's because you can't see, you feel like you can't see what, what will happen if you choose to um, remove yourself from that situation. Discontent and boredom here, so why not set yourself loose? Why not set yourself free from the mental constraints around it? It is what it is, is coming to mind. What's the chariot card here? Yeah, something's trying to lead you towards something new. And with the younger energy here again, you're, we're never too old. It's never too late, okay? Let's get another. Oh, look, the dream premonitions, okay? So also just premonitions, period. Like if you already can sense that this person is going to give you crap, if you're, you're trying to come towards them about something, then why, and then you, you do it anyways, and then you, you know, you end up, I knew it, I knew they were going to be crappy, I knew they weren't going to understand, or I knew it was going to be yada, yada, whatever, they, I knew they were going to feed me full of BS, then why do you keep, why do you keep putting yourself in that situation? Why do you keep doing it if you already know the outcome to what their reaction or response might be? I'm going to get another card here. Step into your power. I'm just reaching over and pre yeah, drink more water. Always drink the water. It's our life force energy. Stargazing. Okay, I feel like I see somebody looking up at the sky and just kind of like meditating or praying. Okay, look into yoga and stretching. So if you don't know which way to go, maybe trying, you know, on the path of things, maybe trying to implement healthier habits into your everyday life. If we can't, hurry up and attain, obtain something right now and make everything better. Maybe these are the steps that you're being called to take. Replenishing, you know, uh, looking into nutrients and vitamins. Reiki. All right. So it's like this situation, you've put a lot of time and effort into it, but look how bored he is. Like he's tired. He's just waiting and waiting and waiting for his crop to bloom. But that which what he is waiting on has brought him more sorrow and sadness than happiness. One, four, three, four on the timer. And, and now we've got you looking taking the world in your hands and going, well, there's a bright new world out there. There's a lot to experience. I can experience on my own. I want my family to experience. And you could be having really happy, positive dreams around celebration. This card, Four of Wands, also signifies like 
a happy union, not just with a romantic partner, but happy union with yourself, with your family or your closest friends or the people you consider family. Whoa, these cards are wanting to come out too. Yeah, seeing that, seeing those who did you dirty or seeing that shady energy in a different perspective and realizing, but you, you didn't, like in the past, you, you might be regretting all the time and love and energy you wasted on this person, but there it, it was all for a reason. So there's like the sense of needing to let go of the regret. Like, man, why did I even try? Like, why did I, why did I keep going back? And maybe that's what the sense is, is like, why, why do I even try? Uh, that's crossing you. Yeah, worrying about this heartache or, can you clarify the three of swords, please? It's a tower moment, yeah. It's, you know, the Three of Swords is very shameful or guilt-ridden or regret, remorseful, um, sad. Something, okay, this situation, okay, it might have made you feel ashamed of something or it might have made you really sad or upset and it's like this was supposed to happen with the Tower card. Number two here, again, something was supposed to happen. It was supposed to end, okay? And now we have another number two here. What is the Two of Swords? Usually Two of Swords depicts to me making a choice, okay? Okay, so <sighs> making the choice not to put yourself through it anymore. And the Dream Premonition card and Tarot came out. So another look into Crystal Healing, okay? And Rest your mind from reflect, reflection of the past. Forgive them. I hear forgive them already. I forgive them for not changing. If something's not changing, that's not up to us to try to make that person to change. It's up to us to either disconnect or accept it as it is or, or you know, stop altogether. We're all in this together and it's okay to ask questions. So coming from with this throat chakra, we are, you know, after you've observed somebody, instead of reacting, observe them. Try to pick up on see what really is at the heart of the matter and what's really going on with this situation. I still feel like we're talking about a masculine energy right now because we're all going through this mental, physical, and emotional healing at this time. And the crown chakras are opening. Yeah, something's being divinely guided, okay? You are, be kind, caring, and loving. You are a kind, caring, and loving person you, regardless of what you've done or haven't done. And it's okay. Uh, sometimes to do nothing and to be lazy, okay? And your heart is actually healing over a masculine energy as well, okay? I heard shame and guilt as I was saying this, so this could be the tower moment around a previous thing, okay? You might have felt, okay, so you've reaped your judgment day from God on this situation already, okay? And so now it's up to you to look forward to the future you know, giving back, being charitable, um, helping others, you know, just trying to find a task at hand to do also is what I'm feeling. You're trying to be helpful for other, to others, giving without expecting something in return. I just heard no more selfish motives or tendency. The will of car fortune is turning in your favor. The Ten of Cups is the most, one of the positive decks, cards in the deck as well. So, uh, happy family, happy home right here. All right, I'm going to end it there. I think we're going to do a counterpart read here next. So, I hope it helped. I hope it resonated. Toodles.